All right, Shalom, Shalom, to the whole full elect of the nation of Israel. We're going to start off this lesson by giving all praises and our great glory to Yahweh. All right, and double honor for the apostles and the elders of great millstones to rule well. And I have taught us this word in truth and sincerity, as well as peace and mercy to the hopeful elect and also pushing this word, starting with the whole with the 144,000. All right, as well as uh, as you little mind sisters that believe, peace and mercy to you and your household. So, uh, in today's class, the lesson. It's going to be based upon uh, the future deliverance, right? That the Lord um, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, is bringing for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, and um, you know, as we get closer and closer to the end of this man's uh, wicked society, this wicked kingdom, the, the destruction and the deliverance. Are things that we should meditate on and we should be meditating on especially the deliverance because what the lord is bringing is going to be horrific man and it's going to be a destruction that the world has never actually that the world has never seen before since since the beginning of uh the beginning of the flood it's going to be worse than that all right and all the other kingdoms that came after and the lord um brought judgment on them the Lord's coming with way more judgment than all, all those other uh, kingdoms uh, experience. So it's very, it's you know, thinking about the deliverance, it's like the, it's like the oxygen to 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 the flame of hope that we have inside of us. You know, it adds more faith and it adds more and gives you more hope because uh, we know through the fear of the Lord, we know the Lord is coming with with death and destruction. Okay, and as you can see it already. So we're going to go into uh, Zechariah the 14th, or no, Slake, the 12th chapter. Okay, and um, as it says here, Jerusalem to be attacked. Now, when you go into, um, you know, the Babylonian captivity, as well as with um, 70 AD, um before before we were completely taken out of our land in both scenarios what happened is we were besieged we were besieged by both the babylonians and the romans and what happens when a city is besieged is those people within the city walls start to starve out right and then that's when people start to eat each other and kill each other for food. So Jacob's trouble, that's basically how Esau is going to come again this time around. He's going to come again and he's going to siege up, especially in America, all the ghettos, right? All the areas where Jake is, the whole country is going to be completely shut down. Canada over here too, man. The whole world is going to be completely shut down because Jake's scattered throughout the whole four, four corners of the earth. But within this destruction, Within this destruction, okay, and devastation that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is bringing, there's going to be a deliverance that's going to show the world who the Lord's chosen are. Okay. And I praise it for you, brother. Yeah, come on. It's um, Psalms 18, verse 50. Come on. Psalms 18, verse 50. Psalms 18, verse 50, and it reads, Great deliverance giveth he to his king. And that he show, that he is one and only Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Those names have to be always um be echoed um once dealing with these scriptures, you know, to, to bring to bring to bring a remembrance. To who the, the elect, because we know two thirds of people to them this is this is gibberish, right? They they think this truth is about is a joke, right? They laugh at us, right? So this this name those, those names 
have to be renounced once again. And mm -hmm. the, the Lord has brought his men, his men, in this time to do so. Yeah. Beautiful. That's uh, deliv del <clears throat> sorry, deliverance talk is going into the sealing work as well. And because you mentioned the name, which goes, which starts with, excuse me, the seal starts with the name and uh, the full import of what it means because it's given by our power, who you just described. Go ahead, brother. Sure. Beautiful. It says, um, so Psalms 18 and 50, great deliverance giveth he to his king and oh, showeth mercy to his anointed so his anointed is yahweh shai first and foremost right mm -hmm. but that word anointed also goes into the uh translates to oil okay so the so the ones that was given this truth right would be in this in the stead of yahweh shai right they've been anointed with the oil of truth glad tidings right and the correct understanding of the holy scriptures right Mm -hmm. All right. Keep reading. It says to David and to his seed forevermore. Which mm -hmm. is what you're going to get into now. Right? Oh. Evermore. Who was this mm -hmm. deliverance always promised to? It was a promise to the whole um, of the of the nation of the, of the earth. You know, the word seed is singular. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Abraham had many seeds, right? But it was passed down through a seed, right? Abraham, Isaac, then Jacob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go Go on. So uh, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 1, it reads, The burden of the word of the Lord Yahweh for Israel, saith the Lord Yahweh, which stretcheth forth the heavens and layeth the foundation of the earth and, fo and formeth the spirit of man within him. And you see, you know, with the with this destruction that the Lord is bringing, because the destruction and the deliverance, okay, are two different sides of the same coin, all right, and they come they come hand in hand. So the destruction that the Lord is bringing is going to let the world know that there's only one true power. They're going to remind them that one true power, right? And then the the deliverance that the Lord is bringing is going to let the world know who his one true chosen people are okay. you know and that's what he said brother the word burden is there yeah so it's going to be a burdensome thing to tell two-thirds of our people right who are the the, the snakes the vipers the scorpions the swines the dogs right that is only for the sheep. okay so that's a, that's going to cause a riff even within a nation man so this, this is going to be a burden for the nations to hear, hey, it ain't for you. Right. right? The Lord's only dealing with one people, man. And within the people, only a third of them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Verse 2, it says, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto mm -hmm. all the people round about. <laughs> when they, and that starts, and that's already starting, really. Got it. You know, and uh, it's starting by the way of uh, of this truth, mm -hmm. right? In the spirit of prophecy. That's why, and only the elites, right, of Esau and these other nations understand um, what 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 we're doing. Okay, the rest of you people, you know, you don't actually understand that the prophets of old are here again prophesying, right, right in front of your faces, man. Uh, so it says, when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And it says, and in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone mm -hmm. for all people. <laughs> and that's what Go ahead, no, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just going to say, you know, that, that's, that's been happening for years, man. Mm -hmm. You know, GMS being that burden, you know, that burdens, uh, burdensome stone, starting with the apostles. You know, we've been we've been a burdensome to the nation of Israel because of this truth. Mm -hmm. Right. Going out, going into all the various topics that a lot of other Israelites that call themselves uh, men of the Lord won't go into and bring out the truth about. You know, we can go into topics of different things that um, that we've dealt with and brought out the truth on. And we've been hated and scoffed at for it. Beautiful. You know? 
Beautiful. That's a great point, brother. Verse two, um, I'm reading it in the uh, NLT because <clears throat> it says, I will make Jerusalem like an intoxicating drink, right? <laughs> so two thirds of our people in there, they're, they've got that drink and they have no business uh, trying to break these things down. But more, more importantly, as you mentioned, brother, uh, the Lord has been doing this for quite some time. And I can recall 2016, okay, when uh, the, the, excuse me, the order was given for, for us to testify in regards to these videos in, regard, in regards to the mark of the beast, okay, the MOTB and the end of this, uh, uh, this man's system. And yeah, that wine is strong and intoxicating because the Lord is doing it and they, they still can't figure it out. Right. That's right. Stuff with them. And you gotta you gotta also remember that word intoxicated is synonymous to poison. <laughs> right? That's what they were toxic, the, being the root mm -hmm. of the word. So if you're gonna be <laughs> poisoned, mm -hmm. it means that you intend to kill. Mm -hmm. Right? So the, the Lord that right. used the people, right, who was the prey to be the predator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Hey, can I read the verse in yeah, the NLP? Yeah, hold on one second. <laughs> brother just second. said that. Go ahead, go ahead. You just I said just it. <laughs> that, um, right. You know, this word, right, it's a trap. See, we're <laughs> out there in the highways and byways, and we're speaking this word. Mm -hmm. And basically, you can, you, can, you can hear us speak this word and prophesy, and you can scoff at it, and then now you've just sealed your judgment. Beautiful like an intoxicating drink like in the case of this thing and also you know this thing this truth it it, it um riles up uh israel man it rouses up israel mm -hmm. you know so it you know you know when people start get to drinking they get you know they get loud mm -hmm. right so yeah man this thing this truth is it, it it judges it judges israel it judges israel man go ahead it says i will make jerusalem like an intoxicating drink that makes the nearby nations stagger when they send right. their armies to besiege Jerusalem and Judah. Right, right, right. So the Lord is going to intervene because when that siege happens and then these uh, these um, uh, military, the military comes in like a flood, like the, pre, like mm -hmm. the scriptures say, the Lord yeah. is going to set the standard. All right. All right. In many cases, man, when you go back to many cases, like in the time of Hezekiah, right, the Lord took down 185,000 Assyrians, you know, with the chariots. And a lot of other times the Lord made uh, uh, blinded um, uh, uh, the Assyrians or the enemies at that time, whoever was besieging you know, Israel at that time blinded their military men so that they run into each other and stab each other and kill each other man mm -hmm. so basically the lord is going to intervene right mm -hmm. so yeah you, you you quoted you quoted isaiah 59 and 19 actually when right. you talked about the standard but go ahead brother continue i'm just putting it out there for the brothers go ahead continue brother yeah so it says zechariah 12 and 3 and in that day Will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people? Mm -hmm. Right? All that bird all that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. Mm -hmm. Right? Though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. You see? So the whole world, mm -hmm. okay, is gonna come up against this truth. It's gonna come up against the the elect of the nation of Israel. Yeah, because they're the and ones start one hundred forty-four thousand. Those are the ones that are teaching this. That are pushing this truth. Beautiful. That's so true. Because we we live that in the highways. We've seen all types of come up. They come up, and also through uh, our, our video testimonies that we put out, where I get all types of people come on the channel and talk shit. Yeah. Okay. Up in the highways too. So, uh, as the brother mentioned earlier on, in regards to verse two and going on down then these people have no clue but they're drunk on that intoxicating wine mm -hmm. yep yep fine so let me get this precept here isaiah 68 and 9 and read down to uh 15. so it says mm -hmm. surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of tarshish first 
to bring my sons from far mm -hmm. uh, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord Yahweh thy power and to the Holy One of Israel, which is the Shai, because mm -hmm. he has glorified thee. Right. So in the kingdom, all these nations are going to bring their wealth unto us. Okay. And it says, verse 10, and the sons of the strangers shall build up thy walls. Mm -hmm. Right? So the walls of uh, Jerusalem and Israel. Right? Because mm -hmm. the land of Israel is also going to be hit by missiles and completely eradicated of in the land right now. Them small hats. So it says, and the right. sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. And their kings shall minister unto thee. So they are going to be our slaves. Okay, we're going to have slaves in the kingdom. For in my wrath, I smote thee. But in my favor, have I had mercy on thee. And that's what you're witnessing. That's, you know, the mercy of the Lord stressed by, the, by having this truth. All right, waking up out of this... Uh, is the, the lies that you know have been told to us by Esau Edom and our own people. Okay, so it says Isaiah 16 11, therefore the gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. You see, right? Because really the whole world, when you go into uh second Ezra, the sixth chapter, around the 50th verse. The whole world was made for the sakes of uh, the nation of Israel, starting with 144,000. Okay. Yeah, simply put, servitude. Yeah, they're going into slavery, servitude. Yep. And it says, and that their kings may be brought, for the nations have, for the nations and kingdoms, so that they, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, mm -hmm. those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree mm -hmm. and the pine tree and the box together mm -hmm. the the, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, right? So that's, so it's going into basically slaves. That's right. right? All those Lebanon, um, is um, all those trees mentioned is actually literal, the, the nation, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Coming to build right, our kingdom as we build theirs. That's right. Okay. So that, right. that Lebanon is, is, is a, it's a dark saying to say the nations. And you can prove that where uh, the, the blind man say, when you say, I saw men as trees. Mm -hmm. Right. I think it's in Mark. Yeah. yeah. Right if you want it. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. It's twofold because it's going to be literal and, 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 uh, and them themselves as well. You want to pull out that Mark? He said, Mark. Uh, I think it's, yeah. I think it's Mark 8. Thanks. Mark 824. 8, 24. 824. 8, 24. Okay. Fine. So remember, remember, we're talking talking about um, our our kingdom being built up, right? So literal trees can't build up our kingdom. It will be no, but, yeah. It will yeah, be literal people because. If the goal with what the verse is, is dealing with, right? The, 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 the chapter you pull is speaking of um, servants, right? People building up Jerusalem for cities, right? So this is Mark 8 and 24. It says, And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Con. All right. So if you pre serve back down and go back there and start at the top, you see that it's talking about literal nations. That will be building up our 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 kingdom. Yeah, yeah. You have to, and then when you go deeper with this 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 uh, chapter here, Mark eight and twenty four, because even though it, we use this to uh, to uh, explain, you know, men as trees in the scriptures, which in the scriptures, you know, people are uh, likened to plants and animals, and uh, or plants and uh, trees. But this guy here, the blind guy here, the reason why he saw men walking as trees because his eyes were blurry. 
right? When you go into it, because he says here, verse 23, and he took the blind man by the hand, Yahweh Shai, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up and he said, I see men as trees walking, right? So the mm -hmm. men were blurry. And then it says, verse 25, after that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he and he was restored and saw every man clearly, you know. So at at the first they look like trees walking, but when we go back here to um, Isaiah sixty, and uh, I was at thirteen, it says, "The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree and the pine tree and the box tree, and to beautify the place of my sanctuary." And this is twofold, right? Because they're literally going to serve as service to build up um, Jerusalem and Israel. But also, they're going to bring resources from the various lands. The Lebanon is Canaan. It's Canaan, it's Canaan, right? The land of the Philistines. So they're going to actually bring resources over to Jerusalem, okay, to help build it up on top of being the servants to build it up too. And it says, I will make the place of my feet glorious when the sons of like it, the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet mm -hmm. and they shall call thee the city of the lord yahweh the zion of the holy one of israel that's right. whereas, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that now men went through thee, I will make thee an internal ex excellency, a joy of many generations. Okay, so the Lord is basically going to be beautify us, all right, and uh, make us perfect. And then we're going to rule and teach these other nations right to, to keep the commandments of the law or the commandments of the scriptures so going back it says zechariah uh, uh 12 and 4 it says let us read three one more time and in that day i will make jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people all that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it in that you know those people who are gathered together, gathered together against it you read psalm 83 okay and to give it a list so basically all nations right is is contrary mm -hmm. to this teachings and to this understanding right yeah which is why this, right. this, this is not a, it's not common to see so-called negroes hispanics and native american speaking the way we do because it's not in their curriculum, right? This was given to us separately, which is why I call the holy scriptures, right? This script is separate, man. Come on. Right? So, and so is understanding, right? It's filled with dark sayings, right? It's it's basically uh, um, bleak, if you were, if you would, right? To, to, to everybody outside, right? This common, right? This, this common understanding, right? Everyone thinks, what are you guys talking about? How do you, how do you know it, it means that? Mm -hmm. you know that's according to your your interpretation which mm -hmm. they're correct <laughs> because what right. what's being portrayed is according to the lord's interpretation which we got that's right all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. hey and if you search it out yourself you you you'll see the truth <laughs> good you know mm -hmm. yeah. real quick this is isaiah 66 and 14 and when ye see this your heart shall rejoice and your bones shall flourish like an harp, and the hand of the Lord Yahweh shall be known towards his servants. You see, which is who's the hand is Yahweh Shai. God. Okay. And his indignation towards his enemies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. So when you go into it like a whirlwind, the yep. whirlwind brings about destruction. So when you see the chariots, right, and they come, it's not to um, 
to take me up and you know like Esau, you know, but I got, I got some beers for you. You yeah. know, some stupid ass comment all the time, right? It says coming mm -hmm. like a whirlwind. So whirlwind's going to bring what destruction. Mm -hmm. That's right, all right. That's right. 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 The it says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh will plead with all flesh and and the slain of the Lord. Yahweh, the Hashem Yahushua, shall be many. You want to go in that word bleed, brother? Just, yeah. just, just, just for um, clarification. So I know it's not begging you because, you know, we have this more today. And plead just means like you're on your knees begging. Mm -hmm. God. So the word there for plead, all right, is shapat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> right. Right. I'm laughing. Go ahead, brother. That's a yes. great word. Go ahead. Yeah. Bring it up, brother. And it says to judge, mm -hmm. govern, vindicate, mm -hmm. punish. And that's what we're doing. It's going to punish, man. That's right, right. Right. <laughs> that's right, man. That's right. And that's why give that's pleasure. Why all the give, give, give pleasure and judgment. Go ahead, brother. Sorry. Yeah. That's, it. that's, all good. that's <laughs> why it's called uh, Jacob's Trouble. Mm -hmm. wow. Right? It's going to be something that the Lord. It's going to be a judgment that the Lord is bringing to his own people for disobeying him, hmm. you know, especially when he uh, his hand by, by, bringing, by uh, setting up the problem. Mm -hmm. So going back now to uh, Zechariah 4, it says, In that day, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord, shall be in the strength, so like it shall, shall be my strength in the Lord Yahweh of hosts, their power. Now, I'm going to get this in the NLT, and it says it like this, uh, verse, uh, th verse 4 in the NLT. It says, in that day, or say, on that day, say, say, says the Lord Yahweh, I will cause every horse to panic and every rider to lose, lose his nerve. Mm -hmm. I will watch over the people of Judah but I will blind all the horses of their enemies, you see? Mm -hmm. So even though the enemy is going to come in like a flood, the elect are going to be protected, man. All right? The elect, like again, the Most High is going to set up a, a, a standard, which means basically goes into a spiritual uh, uh, intervention or a divine intervention, all right, for the safety of the whole full elect, even mm -hmm. in the them getting their head chopped off. You know, the most high can put the spirit on, on the elect to not even feel it. Mm -hmm. You know, to not feel that. Mm -hmm. So it goes on to say, verse 5, I'm just reading here in the NLP, it says, And the clans of Judah will say to themselves, The people of Jerusalem have found strength in the Lord Yahweh of heaven's armies, their power. Okay. And it goes on to say, in that day, I will make the governors of Judah like an heart of fire, hearth of fire among the wood. And like a torch of fire in the sheath. And the governors of Judah were basically the leaders of, of, uh, of, of the tribe of Judah. Okay, so who are the leaders now? In the spirit, the leaders of the prophets, the 144,000. That's right. What? So it says... And they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. And the Lord, it says, and the Lord shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. Yeah, basically the Lord um, 
the great awakening of this truth, all right, started with the tribe of Judah first, mm -hmm. right? Because that's the head tribe. And the Lord did it that way so that the rest of the other nations or the rest of the other tribes wouldn't, you know, boast themselves against Judah, you know, saying, I got this truth first and, and whatnot. And ultimately, Yahushua came out of the tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. you know? So it was always set up that way. Let me get this. I got uh, two precepts I want to get. I'm going to get Isaiah, or not Isaiah, Psalms 149. One forty nine and uh, six. I'm gonna read down to nine. It reads, "Let the high praises of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai be in their mouth, right? The elect, and a two edged sword in their hand, right? And the scriptures talk about how the prophets right now were just fishers of men right now, but there's gonna come a time where the Lord is gonna make us hunters, mm -hmm. all right? And as hunters, we're gonna have power to." tread down upon our enemies and anybody who rejects this truth okay, this is going to be the new law of the world man mm -hmm. okay so it says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bring their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron right so that's talking that's starting with uh, these top top elites wicked elites which are the bankers of the world, top bankers of the world on down. They're going to be the slaves of, of the whole full elect, starting with the prophets, the 144,000. Okay, it says to execute upon them the judgment written. Okay, this honor have all his saints, praise ye the Lord. And it's an honor for us to have our enemies, all right, as slaves, okay, because we were their slaves. It tells you about that in uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. I'm going to go from here to Isaiah 41 and uh, 15. It reads, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing inst instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. Right. So, you know, we keep reading about how the Lord is going to use, all right, his men to basically bring judgment as well upon the heathens. But yeah. as, as we are right now, we can't do that. Because these, these bodies we're in, they're weak. So the Lord is going to give us new bodies. He's mm -hmm. going to change us. All right. And these bodies are going to be called extraterrestrial bodies. Okay. Bodies that, that we're going to that we're going to have on Earth. But they're going to have the, the capability of doing angelic things. So it says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry away, carry them away. And the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord Yahweh, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel, which is Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is going to be the one that the Lord is going to use, okay, as his right hand to, to bring the, both judgment, which is destruction, and deliverance, all right? And he's coming in that father chip, which is a so-called uh, UFO, the chariots of the Heavenly Father. I have a quick precept. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, brother. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. Oh, beautiful. Verse, <laughs> yeah. That was one yeah. of my precepts. That's the spirit. Okay, come, that's the spirit. Uh, verse 7, I'll read from 6. Okay. I'll read down to 8. Wisdom of Solomon 3, verse 6. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering, right? So the elect are going to be tried during the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, scripture right. says in Acts 14, through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, roughly mm -hmm. paraphrasing. Uh, right. Verse 7, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. 
right? So once again, what the elder is saying, the new bodies, right? And be made sharp uh, threshing instruments, right? Where it, yeah. says we're, it says we're gonna run through them like stubble. Verse eight, they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever, right? So beginning with Yahweh Shai, right? The, the, the first roots get the down. Yeah. Heirs, but Yahweh Shai gets his first. That's right. That's right. That's it, man. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to get this one here in uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 26. Read down to uh, 31. Oh, you're seeing that basically a part of the deliverance. Mm hmm right is is uh us being changed that's a part of it we, we got to be delivered we got to be delivered from the destruction of the missiles mm -hmm. we got to be delivered in jacob's trouble uh, from famine and from danger and then we got to be delivered from the destruction of the missiles but then we also got to be delivered from these bodies mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so the lord change us so the changing of these bodies is also a part of this deliverance mm -hmm. so it okay, says yep. beautiful yeah First Corinthians 1 and 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, not are, are called. But Yahweh has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And that's the prophets by the way of preaching. Right? Can the scriptures say that? The Lord chose the foolishness through the foolishness of preaching. Okay, we will be made a spectacle onto the earth because really the Lord doesn't actually need us to be out here prophesying. Mm -hmm. All right. And furthermore, you know, the internet does the bulk of our of our, our of our ministry, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, the Lord has the spirit on us to be out there to show forth faith and fear, you know, and also. So that no one can say, and also Slack, I should say, also to fulfill prophecy. Okay. And yeah. it says, and Yahweh has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, mm -hmm. and the base things of the world, and the things which are despised hath Yahweh chosen. Yea, and yea, and the things which are not to bring to not things that are. Yeah, because no one's looking for the elect to rule. No one's looking for the nation of Israel to rule in, 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 in the new up-and-coming world. Yeah, that's right. All right. Everybody's talking about China being the next hegemony all right, on the earth or Russia. But no, man, it's the Israelites, right? right? Starting with the starting with Yahweh Shai and the 144,000 on down. Okay, we're the ones that got uh, next up. Right. Verse 29, it says that no flesh should glory in his uh, presence. Yeah, because, again, you know, we can't boast in this ministry because the Most High gave us this at, as a gift in the time of grace. And furthermore, hey, in the world, man, we're, we're, the, we're, we're the, the, the things that are looked down upon. We're the people that are looked down upon. Mm -hmm. All right. We're not really glad. Uh, we're not the. Uh, sought after and if we're sought after we're sought after in in the light of mockery or to be destroyed too yeah that's true too yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but all that set up in the spirit mm -hmm. so that in the right. end at the end of it all the elect yahweh shimeo shai and the elect can have the last laugh all right so going back to zechariah 12 and uh seven it says, the Lord Yahweh also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Judah find themselves against Judah. In that day, the Lord Yahweh defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them in that at that day shall be as David. Mm -hmm. And the house of David shall be as, as God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a beautiful yeah, thing, yeah. man. Yeah. As the angel of the Lord Yahweh before them, right? Which is who? That angel is uh, ultimately Yahweh Shai. But we're, this is also showing that the elect, okay, they're angels too. 
they're angels in 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 in, in the flesh. Okay. Going on, it says, verse 9, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication. And they shall look unto me, Sake, they shall look upon me whom they have pierced mm -hmm. and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. And basically in the kingdom, Yahweh Shai is going to show us um, that body that he was that was crucified on the cross the God of Christ can present that body to us. And uh, we're going to mourn, man. That body is going to be... That, that body is going to be something else, man. It's, it's going to look all kinds of mangled up. Mm -hmm. But that's where we're going to mourn for a bit. You know? Now, it says here... I want to get this real quick, just to back up my point. Um, This is Revelation. Because John saw this, too. And that's and he and he said it was a lamb as it was slain. Your own eyes and behind. Um, okay, come on, see like it. So chapter five. Okay, come on. This is uh, Revelation chapter 5, verse 6. It says, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns. He stood a lamb, that's Yahushai, as it had been slain. So John saw Yahushai's mangled uh, body, his body that was, uh, that was crucified, John saw. It says, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of Yahweh, but Premier Shai sent forth in all the earth. Okay, so going back here, verse 11, it says, and in that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Hadar, Hadarim, Hadarimon in the valley of uh, Megiddo. And it says, and that land, and that in the land shall mourn every family apart, the family of the house of David apart, the and their wives apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart, and their wives apart, and the family of the house of Levi apart, and their wives apart, and the family of, of Shimei apart, and their wives apart, and all the families that remain, every family apart, and their wives apart. Yep, gone. So every, the whole nation, man, we're gonna we're gonna witness um, mm -hmm. that body, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a time of mourning. Now I want to get Malachi real quick. Malachi chapter three, which will read uh, from verse one down to six. It says, "Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall." prepare the way before me mm -hmm. and the Lord Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shai, whom ye seek really this is talking about Yahweh Shai the Lord Yahweh Shai whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple even the even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in right behold he shall come say the Lord Yahweh of hosts but who may abide in the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller's soap. Right? So when Yahushai comes, right, it's going to be a dreadful day. Right. And uh, it's going to be so dreadful that it's going to look like who's going to be able to stand in the midst 
of Yahweh Shai in, in, in the host of the angels, in the host of heaven. Right? Now, yeah, we get... yeah, and I was going to say, when you were given uh, that uh, talk just before we started up, and you mentioned the coming of the Lord, and it's interesting, and the Spirit, we're back here again, and now you're describing it, and a word is coming to me, the word is stupendous. The word is stupendous, right? It's just one word, but when you go into it, it's all of what uh, simply was described. Um, intoxication, uh, on, on, on uh, not only uh, two-thirds of our people, but the rest of the world. But the word stupendous, real quick, it just, uh, I, I have it right here, if I may share it, because, you know, we need to be visual as well. <laughs> visual with these things but I just wanted to get that word uh, while you're looking for it I, I had it here and, sorry. Okay. Yeah. so it says here This. <laughs> it said right it says see stupid it says see stupid right mm -hmm. first thing it says but I just want to read it, it says correction or, causing astonishment astounding <clears throat> right to be wondered right and it says be stunned be struck less be aghast astound or amazed right and then you know we can go into all those other words right but yeah but the, that his coming is going to be stupendous mm -hmm. or lack yeah. of better words here okay yeah. and it says see stupid but anyway go ahead brother that's that's all i'm gonna say okay. wow. too, it says but who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like a fuller's soap, a fuller's uh, soap. Yep. So he's coming to cleanse, to clean, clean up the filthiness that's going to be on the earth. That's on the earth, man. All right, and it's only going to get more wicked from here on out because the scriptures say, Yahweh I said himself. Um, um, what will I if um, if if I come and the fire not be already kindled, roughly paraphrased? Right. Right. So it's still going to get way worse than what we're seeing now by the time how shall I get to. Mm -hmm. So it says, verse three, and he shall sit as refiner and a purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold. And silver, and they may that they may offer unto the Lord Yahweh an offering in righteousness. Right then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord Yahweh, as in the day of old, and as in former years, right before we went off. And I will come near to you to judgment. And I will be a swift witness against the scorners and against sorcerers. Oh yeah, Salake. Sorcerers, water, and against the adulterers, and against the false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me. Mm -hmm. Lord Yahweh of hosts. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord Yahweh, and I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's right. And uh, that's the Heavenly Father, man. He he hasn't changed. So not once has, it, has, it, has the Lord changed his mind in terms of uh, who he was, uh, who deliverance was only set for. You know, deliverance isn't even set for all of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, you know, these other teachers are bugged out when they're saying that other nations can make it. Okay. Mm -hmm. only, only a small, only a small collective of the nation of Israel is going to make it. Not even the whole nation of Israel is going to make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just the, just the burnt offering and what you just read there. You brother, brother brought it out in Ezra's, right? And uh, so to summarize it, simply put, man, only that burnt offering that the Lord prepared right there. You just read it as well. Yep. That's the only one that's going to escape this thing. Um, okay. his, his sacrifice, his perfect sacrifice that he has uh, made. Yeah. Exemption from judgment. Wow. Yeah. Real quick to back you up here because it's about their lives and how they live. Their life would be a burnt, a living sacrifice unto the Heavenly Father in Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Right? 
So it says Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice. So laboring in this truth and this ministry, right? It's, 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 like, it's likened to a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So, it's, right. so you notice it's saying it's basically Yahweh Shai Song, Yahweh Bashman Shai Song, your mercy, mm -hmm. right? Allow you That's right. to do what you're doing. That's right. Don't, That's right. don't think too much of yourself, right? That's right. Isaiah 54 and no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. And we know Esau was given with the sword, right? He is the most high sword, which ultimately makes him a what? A weapon. That's right. Right. So Esau can't touch us mm -hmm. as long as we remain faithful, right, to the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great proof on the comment board. This is uh, from Brother Reply. Uh, Jeremiah 5. Five and fourteen. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, how a power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. That's right. So and he's That's speaking the about the prophets, right? The prophets don't want to speak in the Lord's word, right? Right. That's right. Um, Isaiah. 54 and 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue mm -hmm. that is shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Mm -hmm. oh. So this truth is a heritage, man. It's, it's, a, oh. it's a legacy oh. that's passed down through, you know, this through the seed mm -hmm. to the elect, man. And it says, and their righteousness is of me. Right back to the point that you mentioned, uh, Kazak, about um, this is the Lord is allowing us to do this and to uh, to teach this word and prophesy, mm -hmm. right? So, it's, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord Yahweh. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I got one last precept, and that's it for me. Haggai 2 and 22. And it reads, uh, and I will overthrow the thrones of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the of the kingdoms of the heaven of heaven, of the heavens, of the heavens, slack it. And I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and the riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. In that day, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, will I take thee, O Zerubbabel, my servant? The son of Shephiel, saith the Lord Yahweh, and will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. And when you go into the history, the account Zerubbabel was set up by the Lord to uh, to rebuild the temple. Okay, and um, when you go fast forward to now, you know the Most High is rebuilding the third temple through Yahweh Shai via the Holy Spirit. And that third temple is the is the elect, okay. So the third temple is being built right before, you know, uh, our very eyes and your very eyes as well. And, and that word Zerubbabel also means once. I think it's sown in Babylon, right? Which, yeah. which are the us, you know. Yeah, so yeah. We are risen up in in this land. That's right. Right. Captives of Babylon. They use us, a threat, thrusting instrument, That's alongside right. Yahusha. Mm -hmm. Con. Con. So that's it for me. I don't know if brothers have any lasting statements or precepts. Oh, that's pretty much it, brother. For me, I'm good. Con. So um, we're going to close this lesson. All right. Low willingness was edifying to the whole full elect. Starting with 144,000 and sincere sisters that believe. We're going to close by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and those who bring most of them who rule well. 
the thought of this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, peace and will for elect that also push this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, starting with uh, 144,000. All right. And the little man says that believe. We will say a ball, the ball. The ball. Say a 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 